everyone, welcome to a new vlog. We are on holiday, that's why the background surroundings are a bit different. And I haven't been a very good blogger, I'm sorry, because normally I would show you some of the, the whole journey, the pack in the car, the sped up bit of the road, you know, that sort of thing. But I just totally forgot, <laughs> I just didn't think about it. I was still tired, I'm still getting over Glastonbury Festival. So yeah, the timing of this hasn't, you know, isn't perfect. Uh, but we have come to Gloucestershire because tomorrow and the next day there's a Tewkesbury medieval fair, which we've seen advertised in the past and we've always said, oh, that looks good, let's go to that one year. And this year we're doing it. So we have um, rented out an Airbnb, a beautiful holiday cottage which is so much nicer than I expected it to be. I thought it was quite a small, quite a modern building, but no, it's much bigger than I thought and older than I thought. So everyone loves an Airbnb tour, don't they? So here we go. This is the, the doorway is just here. So you'd come in and there's like a little boot area there where we've put Loki's biscuits and stuff. This is the kitchen. I wanted to do, we've literally only been here a couple of hours <laughs> and I wanted to do this before we've made a mess but we've obviously spread out a bit. And it was Chris's birthday so I had to bring the birthday cake and we had that when we got here. And then through here there's a little downstairs loo, shower and utility area. There's Jude. <laughs> there's Loki. Settled in. <laughs> and then this is the big living room dining room oh you take your headset off <laughs> chris's birthday present i'll put in a clip now <laughs> and his present was one of these fancy virtual reality things what's it called oculus quest and so yeah he's been playing on that for the last few minutes having fun yeah. <laughs> hello. hello there's rain that scraggly thing is uh jude's hair extension <laughs> That looks really weird sitting on the settee <laughs> like that. <laughs> They're long, aren't they? They are long. So here's like the dining table, a really uh, nice sort of antique looking seat that looks out onto a nice view. And that oak tree over there, we walked Loki over there earlier. It's a pretty old magical oak tree there. And yeah, so we've got all this space here to walk Loki, which is nice. Not that he goes very far these days. No, neither do me, and neither do me, <laughs> neither do I. I've got a sore foot and I've got an appointment on Monday to go to the doctor, so hopefully they're gonna sort that out for me. So here's the stairs. Oh, I should actually from here before I go up, so you can see the old beams, which I think are original old beams. And there's more sort of old, oldie worldy bits as we go up. You sorted out which bedroom's which? Yeah. Which one are you having? That, that, um, that one. <laughs> so she's got a view of the garden, which is also really pretty. They've really made an effort with the plants and stuff. It's really pretty. This will be mine and Chris's room. And um, the, oh, maybe I'll show you the garden another time, but it goes right around there. Got a patio bit there, and it goes around there. It's really lovely. Loads of birds have been in the garden. So, wardrobe. Got to do the obligatory mirror wave. <laughs> and then we've got a little ensuite shower room and then there's another bathroom here with a curved bar and then rain must be in this twin room here a little bit of horse art on the wall there's lots of dog motifs dog and pony um pictures here and there so there we are there's a little tour around where we are so we are in Ketford, a tiny little hamlet, I think, near Ledbury, near Gloucester and Tewkesbury, sort of in the middle of nowhere, really, in between, in between all these places. We've just been looking at some of the information that the owners had left out. So I think we've got a bit of a plan. Ledbury looks lovely, so we're definitely going to go there. We'd like to have a look at Gloucester, have a look at the cathedral and uh, do that another day, probably Tuesday. And then we'll save Saturday and Sunday for the medieval fair. We don't know if it's going to take two days but we're going to allow it and see what happens so now i think we're just about to head out towards ledbury to somewhere else <laughs> for dinner we found a dog friendly place because we've got loki with us which is nice yeah we're all quite hungry we're just waiting for it to start serving food and then we're off Good 
morning. We are we have come to Tewkesbury. Oh, Loki's having a fair walk out of the <laughs> tiny, tiny little water bowl. Loads of shops have got dog water bowls outside. Yeah. It's lovely. It um, so yeah, we're looking around Tewkesbury. Some of the buildings are amazing. I mean, look at that one. There's loads of Rutland Door buildings like that. Yeah, there's quite a few like that. Yeah, so we're just walking down the high street really and stopping at wherever we see we fancy there's looking a, into. There's a craft fair in that building. Oh, there's a craft fair there. Possibly. Well, we've got to walk up one side and come down the other. Yeah. There's a cute dog. Hang on. I've just found the coolest book shop ever. I'm going to try and subtly show you around. Look, look a bit older. Oh, that's cool. All these old maps. Done for four position is becoming hopeless. So I'm just going to show you what the kids are wearing today because they've all dressed up really cool. So I've got my, my pet dragon Jerry from Big Renaissance Fair in California. This from a fairy festival. This from I got from a pound shop in Spain. I got this Dutch dress from eBay. I was quite pleased with that one. It's a vintage Dutch dress. White corset. For me, look, and then I've got my water uh, bottle, potion bottle, and this I crocheted yesterday. Got my goblet off my belt, and then this is from a market in London that was a dress, and then it got ruined, and then I turned it into a paper dress. And huh. shoes. And your outfit? Um, boohoo. <laughs> <laughs> eBay. Yeah, Amazon. What? Socks. <laughs> <laughs> you both look really cool today. Tewkesbury Fair has closed. Tewkesbury Town, by the way, was just 
Look, the uh, cathedral, the abbey church is just there. It's so beautiful. I loved it. That was one of the prettiest churches slash abbeys, chest slash. It was almost like a thick. It was almost like a cathedral in there. It was really, it was a really nice one. Uh, Cheeksbury, I can I just still can't get over how many old, really old, like medieval buildings there were just through the high street. They were so beautiful. I love old, uh, I love old buildings. <laughs> I love old shit. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, we just had a wander through there, popped in a few vintage shops, a great place for vintage shopping, and she'd found a very pretty sort of Venetian ornate picture frame for a fiver in, one of, in that last one we went in. And then we made our way to the medieval fair, which is a lot further from the car park than we thought it was. So when we got there, Loki by then, oh, he's doing another poo. He's gone to the edge. Yeah, by the time we got there, it was, uh, Loki was absolutely knackered so we just sort of made our way through the crowds and found uh, luckily found one of the last spots left to sit down there's a paraglide up there sorry about the noise yeah so we just sat down and watched the battle reenactment which was fun it was a little bit slow to begin with and we weren't in the best spot if you ever come here then go to make sure you sit as near you, as you can to the commentator's tower we couldn't see a lot of it very well at all but it was it was good fun it was nice to see Oh, my antlers have fallen somewhat. And then we had a very, very quick look opposite at the actual market area. But then it closed, so that was it. That's all we had time for. I think the battle reenactment overrun a bit. And we did reserve our pub restaurant today because yesterday we got to that one and uh, they nearly wouldn't serve us, but we agreed to wait and it did. we did have to wait. And we're looking forward to coming back tomorrow to look at those stalls. I bought some fabric. Don't tell my dad. <laughs> didn't bring Loki bed with us so we bought a cheap one today a nice big one and uh, Loki just sat in the tiny little bed that was left by the owner he's managed to fit in it <laughs> he has he's done quite well for himself just look how stubborn that dog is that's really quite cute <laughs> well it's our second day at the medieval festival there's a parade through the town today but we're hoping to catch some of it as it comes through the road up here uh, we can hear the music behind the big church yeah we should be able to watch it from here shouldn't we yeah. let's see your outfit then jude and Un unrobe your cloak <laughs> look jude made this armor herself with foam it's so cool i made the skirt how, how long ago did i make that skirt years ago i wore it on year seven camp Oh, so quite a while ago. Yeah. yeah. Rain's an archer today. Yeah. Rain's a skirt that I got from you guys, very pleased. The braces from Wish. Yeah. And then this, I dug it out of my repair pile and then I turned it into an overdress. My neck with this belt I got from Spain. That. And my water. Oh. It's still, still there. It's still there. What's your outfit of the day? <laughs> Hey. Hey. <laughs> yeah. the day. World of Warcraft emblem. It looks quite medieval-y. Okay. That was a good one. It's free, ladies and gentlemen. Really proud of yourselves, Tax Free, putting on something like this.
Have you fun? back I'm talking quietly because I think Jude's having a nap she's not feeling very well bless her she's got a really bad sore throat I think but I thought I would give you a very quick haul of what I bought at the medieval festival it was so good it was so nice today to have a good look around all the stalls we took our time we had to take in turns of course with Loki because we just He's obviously too big to look around. The, he can't get in the stall. I'm taking turns answering everyone's questions. I don't know how celebrities do it if they're interrupted like that all the time because it's just a constant barrage of people coming up asking what breed he is, how old is he, what's his name. And kind of that's fine if they move, ask those questions, happily answer them and they move on. But some people just think that they have the right to just interrupt your conversations or interrupt what you're trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> and just talk for ages about the dog <laughs> and uh, we managed to keep our cool but of course Loki is a dog and he got a bit fed up today of everybody poking and prodding him all the time and commenting on his on the size of his paws um, yeah so we had to uh, say no when people were asking if it was all right to fuss because he did get it was hot bothered and so crowded he actually um, was really good in the sense that he just let us know he just let us know by barking or growling under his breath that he just didn't want people to keep touching him all the time so he is a good boy really but he was uh, much friendlier yesterday <laughs> anyway back to the hall i'll show you what i bought i hope it's still light enough here it's, it's, it's 20 past nine in the evening it seems so much lighter because the house sort of all the windows face west and none of our windows at home face west so you don't realize how much light you can actually get in the evening so my favorite purchase of all i think this is second hand because there were two rails inside the stall and the clothing at the back was quite expensive sort of ranged between i would say the cheapest thing i saw was about 85 95 pounds i went up to like 400 pounds for a dress all like good quality thick linens and stuff tried it on over my dress in the corner no mirrors so it was a bit of a gamble but it, yeah it was only 35 pounds um amongst some second hand stuff it looks perfectly brand new to me so i think i got a bargain here i got this gorgeous blue thick linen medieval dress so for the next medieval fair we go to this will be what i'll be wearing so i'm quite excited about that oh i'll show you what i bought yesterday as well i bought just one meter of this velvet because i just wanted to feel it and sort of get more of an idea of what the quality was before i bought any more sadly this color had sold out today because i sort of decided that i do like it it's quite a vintagey velvet feel even though it's not silk it is a viscose velvet but it's so thin it just feels very vintage so i decided i did like that velvet but sadly they sold out of that today and the other thing i bought from that store was this real linen and this was only uh how much that was three pounds a meter by the way which i thought this is why I got them there. You do find those prices online, but then of course you have to pay postage and often for fabric, the postage is still per metre. So it really racks up. So this is why I took advantage of buying decent value fabric while I could. This linen, it's quite thin. Yeah, you can see there when I hold it up. How many metres did I get of this? I think I got three metres of this so that I'd have enough to double it up, um, which I might actually make myself either a dress or maybe just a full skirt. Again, for some like medieval-y type events or maybe just every day. I haven't properly thought it through or decided yet. And this was also three pounds a metre. 
was it even two? I don't know, it was good value anyway. It was two or three pounds a metre. Their Irish linen, their thick, good quality stuff was um, between seven and 10 pounds a metre. But I went with the cheapy stuff. And then today I went back and I bought some purple velvet. See how gorgeous this fabric is, look. Look how lovely that colour is. So yeah, I decided to get six metres of this. 18 pounds for this much fabric you can't complain at that you really can't oh yeah i just remembered <laughs> i just remembered i got a real bargain with that linen it was three pounds a meter um but there was only there was one meter left i asked for three meters he gave me four meters for eight pounds so i only paid two pounds a meter so it was meant to be three but i paid two so got bargain there i didn't get a deal on this sadly but i got so much because we're looking for fabric for our van we don't know whether we're going to upholster the whole of it the roof some of it or just use it for curtains but i thought it's just such a gorgeous color feels so nice you have to stroke it in the right direction otherwise it feels weird it's a gorgeous luscious fabric so please with that one i paid four pounds for some faux leather really good quality let me put it close is that going to be too dark in this corner for you to see it properly but this is really nice quality faux leather and uh jude is starting to feel a bit iffy about wearing leather rain and jude haven't eaten be for a while she she wanted some wrist cuff things the type that archers wear but of course they're all real leather in a place like a medieval festival so i spotted this and it was in a basket said make me offers so i said four Four pounds and he accepted that so i've got a really good amount of faux leather so i can't remember gauntlets is that they're called possibly also a quiver because her big purchase which is really exciting she bought a proper archer's bow and some arrows i bought a pair of iron forged scissors i just thought that they look really nice for instagram to put next to my flower flat lay so my flower still life photos And lastly, I spotted in an iron, in a forgery, forge, forgery, in a forge, these handmade S hooks. And these were two pounds each, so I got five of them. So they'd go really nicely in our kitchen because we do have some iron twiddly things in our kitchen. Yeah, that was everything. It was so crowded today. I think if the crowds had been less and if we'd gone without the dog and I wasn't carrying my big heavy camera, which I shouldn't have taken today, then I probably could have spent a lot more money. If we go back, I would definitely take quite a large sum of cash with me because there are some gorgeous things and I've come away quite inspired to do much more medieval things for my clothing company, Threads of a Fairy Tale. So yeah, that's it for me today. I think we'll be off to bed in a minute and hopefully do the full better in the morning. I might not vlog tomorrow. We're just gonna go to a nearby town called Ledbury. It was another very pretty, very old building-y sort of town, but my shoulder could really do with a rest because I'm also carrying around a tote bag with a towel for Loki's dog slobber, a bottle of water for him. I might give my shoulder a rest and not take my camera with me tomorrow. So I shall see you sometime soon. Bye for now. Mm. All set. Mm. <laughs> Just got those few bits to go in the front. Actually, it's a sunny morning. It hasn't been sunny in the morning. It's been cloudy so far. We're just um, saying goodbye to this beautiful garden. Definitely locked. Bye, house. <laughs> <laughs> Before we take the drive the whole way home, we thought we'd come to Gloucester. Never been to Gloucester before, or have I? When I was a kid? I don't know, it all sounds very familiar. I might have been before. Yeah, Jude's still not feeling well and can't talk very much, so it's very quiet and it feels very <laughs> uncomfortable. Like, you talk and there's no reply. <laughs> Poor Jude. We've got a stretch for you. Do you want to go back? Shoot. Are you sure? Yeah, so it's like that, it's just weird. Oh, that's a cool, cool name. Cool building. Cool building. Oh, <laughs> that's 
the house with the Italian plaster. Oh. And that is a picture of Beatrix Potter to herself. At the shop window, Simpkins the cat, and that's the archway going through the cathedral. Ah, uh, yes! It, it That's in here, and that's where I don't know if you recognise it, but that's probably we think that's where the floods were with Filch's cat being um, petrified in the Harry Potter films. Here it is. Oh, oh, can I take a photo? I oh, know we've got can I take a photo of you in here but while there's no one in. So this is the tomb of Edward II. This is starting to feel a bit familiar. I've got a feeling I came here on holiday when I was about 11, but I'm not entirely sure. We did a lot of things like cathedrals when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the age of these flags. Yeah. I like the fringe. Wow, it's quite an impressive cathedral. I'm gonna feed the hungry gargoyle. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your sister do. <laughs> Every time I see those gates though, I remember when we came here. We've just sat under the shade of this tree for our picnic and we're going to look at the ruins of this abbey that's just to the side of Gloucester City. Popped into the Eastgate shopping centre for the toilet. <laughs> and discovered why there are so many closed shops in the high street, which is such a shame. Oh, weird. This is not what I expected. I did expect it to be as much as part of the architecture of the city of kids playing football against the walls. <laughs> I think that's the community youth centre. How bizarre. And it's just here. The kids climbing all over it. So this is Greyfriars Abbey. Hello everyone, we're back from our holiday. It was such a nice little breakaway. It was over too quickly. I would have liked to have had another couple of days away, but actually poor Jude really wasn't well. She has been to the doctors and she does have tonsillitis. She's on antibiotics and is already starting to feel better actually but oh bless her, she did power through for our, for our sake and joined in. It's difficult finding, it is difficult finding things um, that you can take a dog to, particularly Loki, particularly a big dog, because um, yeah, he just takes up a lot of space. You can't take him into buildings, you can't. This holiday was actually quite challenging. Generally with the um, number of people that just came over to us all the time to talk about him. Yeah, it, it starts off being nice, it's like, it's a nice comp I mean, I appreciate it is a nice compliment that people want to know about your dog and, and say how lovely he is and how handsome he is, which is nice, he is, but oh my goodness, it was, it was just too much. It's one of those things, isn't it? So yeah, I've still got a little bit of unpacking to do and, and just uh, get over the busy time that we've had. The cows have gone from the field next door, so at last I can walk Loki around properly. I have really missed my walks. Well, I won't keep rambling on, so I hope you've enjoyed watching our little trip away. It was really nice. We're going to try and get away again, I think in September for a long weekend. We're not having a big holiday this year because partly the funds went on the bathroom, which, I still haven't shown you the video of that renovation yet because it's not quite finished but hopefully that's coming soon and also we've got a big holiday next year to Disney World and Universal Studios in Florida so that's exciting Jude is Disney obsessed so that's all we're hearing about from her well not at the moment because she can't talk but <laughs> that's what she's busy planning that for us which is helpful and um yeah i just hope you enjoyed watching and if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you're new here please hit subscribe and the little bell notification button and i'll see you again next time thanks for watching bye